Hello and welcome to our tutorial on creating a master schedule using Microsoft Project. In this video, we will guide you through the step-by-step -step process helping you harness the power of project to efficiently organize and manage your project's timeline and resources. A master schedule is the comprehensive roadmap that outlines the sequence and timing of all tasks and milestones in all your related projects to each other. It serves as the central hub for tracking progress, allocating resources, and ensuring that all elements of your project are seamlessly coordinated. Let's dive in and learn how to build your own master schedule using Microsoft Project. So in here, as you can see, I have the Microsoft Project open. From here, I'll select a blank project. And I already have created a number of projects which I will connect them through this specific file which I will call the master schedule. For other resources and learnings about Microsoft Project, you can refer to the number of videos that we have uploaded in the Microsoft Project playlist of this YouTube channel where you can find a lot of informative tools. For example, creating your baseline schedules, tracking progresses, creating dashboards and reports of your schedule. In this video specifically, we will focus on connecting different projects into a single file. First of all, what I will have to do is, for example, let's remove the timeline from here. I have shown in other videos what every single thing in here means. For example, the manually scheduled tasks and other things. If you were interested, you can refer to those videos as well. So for that purpose, I'll go to project and here I'll select the sub project. And from my desktop, I will pick the master schedule. And in here, select project number one. As you can see, link to project is checked in here. This basically means that whatever changes you make to the file in here, they will be made to the, your original backend file as well. So for in our case, I'll leave this as linked since I want my all my project schedules to be gathered at one place and whatever changes I make, I need them to be incorporated and shown and be visible in the separate files as well. So I will leave this as checked and click insert. So project number one will be inserted into here. The next thing is to go and select or project number two. I'll go and select project number two from here and leave this as linked. And as you can see, we have two projects in here. But unfortunately, this there is a mistake made by me. For example, as you can see, the start dates for both of the projects the same and then we have this task which is survey as completed but i want this to be incompleted and the start dates to be different for both of the projects so what i will do is i'll uh, right click in here go to insert column and the percentages percentage completed this should be zero and in addition to that this task should be zero as well so the next thing in here, as you can see, both of our projects, they start at the same date and end at the same date, while project number one should start some date earlier. So for that purpose, I'll go, for example, go to project number one. And what I will do in here is change the start date. For that purpose, go in the under the project menu, go to move project. And in here, I will select the start date of this project is 1st of March 2024 and click OK and then I'll save this. I'll close this file and then as you can see in here, our project is automatically updated and moved to some other date. As you can see, if we see the whole project in here from view, entire project, our project number two, we moved it backwards and it can be shown in here. In addition to that, for example, let's make, in the previous example, we made the change to the single file and the changes were incorporated in here. But in here, if, for example, let's make this 100% and this 100% as well, and let's save this file uh, in the same file, let's give this the name of master schedule, for example. So our master schedule will be saved in here so now if I go to our project number one file in here and see if these changes are made to the and open, for example, project number one. And as you can see, the survey and other percentages are shown to be completed in here as well. Let's make this, for example, 
and then let's save this file and let's close this one. And here, as you can see, the installation will be 50% completed as well. So here is how the master schedules can help you manage multiple number of projects from a central and single hub. And I hope you found the content of the video helpful in connecting different Microsoft project files into a single file. If you like the content, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and following us on Instagram or LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.